counsel generals, the diplomats from foreign missions, my colleagues in the state, cab state cabinet, industry doins, business leaders and representatives, officials from the state government, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning to you all. It's a proud moment to announce that the state has received 340 investment proposals with an investment of about 13 lakh crores providing employment to almost 6 lakh people across 20 sectors distributed all along the state. As of today, post my speech, we are going to execute 92 MOUs with an investment of about 11.85 lakh crores, giving employment to almost 4 lakh people. The remaining 248 MOUs will be executed tomorrow, i.e. 4th March 2023, with an investment of about 1.15 lakh crores and an employment to almost 2 lakh people. Marquee investments such as Reliance Group, Adani Group, Aditya Birla Group, Renew Power, Arvindar Group, Daikin, NTPC, IOCL, Jindal Group, Mondelez, Parley for the Oceans, Sri Cements, Wellspun, to a name to name a few, shall be setting up their businesses and expanding their businesses in Andhra Pradesh. And I take this opportunity to thank them personally. On behalf of the state of Andhra Pradesh, I extend a warm welcome to you to the Andhra Pradesh Global Investors Summit 2023. And I also thank you all for being part of this event. At the outset, I wish to point out that this summit today, through this summit today, we would like to communicate to the domestic and international investor community, we would like to communicate to them that you mean a lot, that to us you are important. And this we would like to communicate this day through this summit. We would like to convey this day our strengths, the diverse opportunities the state has to offer, the state's business-friendly environment, its robust infrastructure, the state's emphasis on healthy competition and innovation, and above all, our commitment towards sustainable long-term growth through your partnership. I'm extremely happy to host this event in Visakhapatnam, a city that has emerged as a strong economic hub with the presence of multiple public and private sector units, port-led infrastructure, a medtech zone, and a tourist hotspot. The city known not only for its industrial strengths, but also for its picturesque beauty and serene landscape. 
It gives me great pleasure to host the event in this beautiful city. The year 2020-23 is an important year for India. As the country is hosting the G20 summit in September with the theme, One Earth, One Family, One Future. I'm sure that India's G20 presidency under the visionary leadership of Sri Narendra Modi ji would be a defining moment for us. The city of Visakhapatnam is also hosting one, one of the most important G20 work, working committee meetings as well. India is one of the fastest growing economies in the world. India has also demonstrated immense resilience and has emerged as one of the top destinations for foreign direct investments as well. The state of, the, uh, the state of Andhra Pradesh is one amongst the leading states driving the growth story of India. The state is blessed with several inherent strengths, including abundant natural resources, mineral wealth, a 974 kilometer coastline, and so forth. The state, is so, the state also possesses a robust infrastructure with six operating ports and four more under development. Six airports spread across the state, of which three are international airports as well. Three of the 11 industrial corridors being developed in the country are coming up in the state, housing 10 industrial nodes with a number of leading educational institutions, strategic locational advantages, abundant industrial land bank, skilled youth, a thriving industrial and business ecosystem, and above all, a proactive government with an enabling policy framework makes the state an attractive destination for your investments. Andhra Pradesh has achieved a year-on-year -year GSDP growth rate of 11.43% in the financial year 2021-22, which was the highest in the country. Further, in the last three years, the exports from our state have also increased at a compounded annual growth rate of 9.3%. Our endeavor for sustainable progress was also recognized by Niti Aayog, which rated the state number three in its SGD India Index rankings for 2020-21 across social, economic, and environmental criteria. Our focus in the state has been on formulating several path-breaking reforms and initiatives to strengthen governance at the grassroots, improve business environment, promote policy stability, drive competitiveness, and enhance transparency to provide a low-risk investment climate. I'd like to highlight four key pillars on which the state government places utmost emphasis on, which are crucial for economic and industrial development. Greenification being one, industrial and logistics infrastructure being the number two, digitization being number three, the fourth, enterprise and skill development. On greenification front, I wish to point out that with decarbonization becoming a global imperative, our emphasis continues to be on hastening the transition to renewable energy. Andhra Pradesh is blessed with a large renewable energy potential of 82 gigawatt. It is one of the very few states in India that has a combined potential for solar, wind, and pump storage as well. We have also identified and set aside dedicated land parcels for wind, solar, and pump storage projects as well. 
Andhra Pradesh is also blessed with unique geographical features enabling a potential of 34 gigawatt in pumped hydro storage as well, which can facilitate around the clock renewable power. Andhra Pradesh has the potential to be one of the leading states in India for production, consumption and export of green hydrogen, green ammonia, given the long coastline we are endowed with. On the industrial and logistics infrastructure front, I wish to point out that Andhra Pradesh with its 974 kilometer long coastline is a gateway to India on its east coast. To strengthen the maritime sector in the state, we are developing four new ports at Ramai Patnam, Machli Patnam, Baban Padu, and Kakinada, in addition to the six operational ports. Further, the abundant land availability in close proximity to these ports enhances the potential for port led industrialization. I wish to point out that Andhra Pradesh is the only state with three industrial corridors Vizag Chennai Industrial Corridor, Chennai Bangalore Industrial Corridor, and Hyderabad Bangalore Industrial Corridor. These industrial corridors are planned in proximity to various demand centers and provide excellent connectivity from the ports to various hinterland locations. These corridors with 10 dedicated nodes would certainly emerge as hubs for industrial growth in the years to come. To reduce the time and cost of moving cargo to hinterlands, we're also developing five multi-model logistics parks as well. A strategic location spread across the state. The state government is also developing nine new fishing harbors, enabling seafood sourcing and processing. Andhra Pradesh also has sector-specific industrial clusters for pharmaceuticals, textiles, food processing, electronics, etc., which provide the state, which provide state-of-the-art, common infrastructure, and large pool of skilled manpower. Andhra Pradesh is also home to several medtech companies in Andhra Pradesh, medtech zone in Visakhapatnam. Additionally, the government is making available plug-and-play facilities which will significantly reduce the cost and time associated with setting up of business. The third pillar, digitization, is also of paramount importance. Our single desk portal offers a one-stop digital platform for all domestic and international investments with over 90 business services across 23 departments. The business specific approvals for setting up of businesses are granted within a maximum time frame of 21 days. To improve the delivery of citizen centric services, we also have the AP Seva system at the village and ward secretariats providing over 540 services. On the enterprise development and skill enhancement front, I have always believed that conducive business environment is one of the most important requirements for achieving accelerated enterprise growth. The state of Andhra Pradesh is known for its focus, ensuring business-friendly environment for the stakeholders. The state has consistently stood first in the country in ease of doing business. Consecutively for the past three years and received the highest positive feedback of 97.89% from industries surveyed by the Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade, Government of India, DPIIT, which itself speaks volumes of the conducive environment in the state. Moreover, we have proactively amended acts and repealed obsolete laws to reduce compliance burden on the industry. Along with good infrastructure, 
and a conducive business environment, availability of skilled workforce is very crucial if the desired outcome is to be achieved. To this end, the state government is in the path of setting up 26 skill development colleges in the state. The state government is working with the objective of upgrading skills of our local youth to international standards through significant industry involvement through these skill development colleges. I wish to conclude by reiterating that with proactive policy formulation and due attention to each of the pillars discussed, we are facilitating a business-friendly environment and are also ensuring sustainable economic development of the state. At the Andhra Pradesh Global Investors Summit 2020-23, over the next two days, we will be showcasing the strengths of our state and the business prospects that are available. We urge all the business leaders to participate actively in the sector sessions and engage with our teams to understand the potential opportunities in various sectors in our state. It is our commitment to facilitate the most conducive business ecosystem in the state. I once again assure you that we are only a phone call away. Whenever you need us for anything whatsoever in supporting your business, this is our assurance to you. I thank you once again for being part of this summit and extending your warmth and support. I do hope that you have a wonderful time in our beautiful city of Visakhapatnam, which would be our executive capital as well in the days to come. I myself would be shortly moving over to Visakhapatnam in the days to come as well. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, Honorable CM Garu. We are seeing your vision being realized live at this summit, and I'm sure we will continue to see. Shri Puneet Dalmiya ji to thank for that.